next up. It's Python on Hardware time. Blinka, blinka. All right. So first up, we have a newsletter. I know I say it, but it's so rare. I'm just going to say it probably every week forever. Um, you go to adafruitdaily.com. It's not adafruit.com. It's adafruitdaily. Why? Because we never want anyone to think at all whatsoever that we would ever spam them. We never will. Do the address thing where you put in, a, you know, spam. Dot plus. I, yeah, do all that because I know we never will. Ever, no. ever, ever. So sign up there and you'll be able to get the best newsletter that has Python on hardware delivered to your inbox every Tuesday morning. So this week, MicroPython adds official SAMD support for uh, MicroPython, which is kind of cool. We've had it for a while. Yes. And now MicroPython has it. Yes. Um, CircuitPython Online e IDEs. This is kind of, I feel like this is the natural progression of when folks are having fun with a platform. Um, there's an online IDE that you could just do CircuitPython right in the browser. Kind of cool. Um, we have our modules that we made for an S3 Feather. Um, we have this neat wirelessly code your Bluetooth bias with a code editor for CircuitPython if you want to check out um, code.circuitpython.org. And Big Inc. in Hackspace, a huge profile on Anne. Check it out, and Story, and more, and all the neat stuff that Anne does with CircuitPython. Um, check out the rest of the newsletter. There is tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff this week. I have two picks that I'm going to do this week. First one is, um, this person was very nice, so I'm just going to read it. They said, just thinking about things I'm thankful for right this moment, it's family, friends, and Adafruit Blinka. So I'm glad we're, we're up there. I'm glad we're up there. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad we're not listed first. You know, I'll take third place on that one. Um, so thank you so much, uh, George, for the kind words. Our team really appreciates it. And then Trevor has an update for PyLeap. Take it away, Trevor. Hey folks, this is Trevor here to show you our new PyLeap beta update. This time around, we've added an additional seven example projects, and I'm here to show you a few of them. So let's start off with the Touch Tone Piano project. It's already downloaded, and I'll send it over right away. Let's see, I'm going to take a couple of seconds. And just like that, it's downloaded. Now you're able to play a tone, or you're going to pick on Bluefruit and have the Neo pixels light up as well. All right, let's try another one. Let's try the button controlled Neo Pixel project. All right, let's send it over. So we're gonna take a couple of seconds and just like that, it's completed. So we hit, we hit the buttons. Neo pixels light up. Pretty neat. All right, that's what we got for now. Thanks for watching. And that's Python on Hardware News this week.